This is the Falco HX500 kit, and it's actually installed on two different bikes. We've got a cruiser right here, and we've got a fat tire bike over there, which I review separately because I, you know, I wanted to call out basically the, the benefits of having fat tires on snow and all that, so you can check that out. Um, basically, what this is, is a 500 watt direct drive, which means gearless, hub motor that can be mounted in the front wheel, like we're seeing with both of these bikes, or in the rear wheel. Okay, and in addition to basically offering you a throttle mode right here, we've got a couple throttles, a couple different designs, or a twist throttle, it can offer you cadence sensing. So you see the, the magnets, and it's a 12 sensor uh, system, so it's a little bit more responsive than some of the older six sensor. And this is nice for people who want to just, you know, move their pedals and have the bike help them because they also offer a torque sensor design, which again, you actually have to be pushing and sort of straining the torque, and that's only for the, for the rear hub motor design. The other neat thing about the way these kits are set up is that they can be spoked into a number of different wheel sizes, 20 inch, that's what you might have on like trailers and things, uh, 24 inch, 26 inch, and then uh, 700C, which is like your 29er, which is really cool. And they use these nice German engineered um, wheels and they'll spoke that for you and they'll they'll actually work with with people uh, bike shops that are doing custom jobs to spoke them into fat fat rims as well so just really neat and again front or rear uh, wheel setup that way the motor obviously gives you assistance as you're riding the bike um, but in this case it also recharges itself a little bit as you're coasting with the uh, with one of these falco setups it's sort of taking the extra energy that's being produced and it's sending it back to the to the motor and they have five levels of regenerative braking basically or, or regen mode so if you're coasting down a big hill you can sort of arrow down in their display setup here which is which is sort of on as long as you've got the bike on you can arrow down at any time and it sort of wakes up right now I'm in like plus one zero which means you're not gonna get any help negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So you can really, you know, basically recapture some of that electricity and save your brakes and save your hands from squeezing. And that's neat. You know, that's something that uh, the Bionics kit also has. And I, I haven't seen on too many aftermarket bikes. It's just, it's something that comes on these really high-end kits like this. And I, I think it's, you know, I appreciate it. It's kind of neat that they do that. So anyway, there's your 500 watt direct drive motor and the way it works is there's big magnets inside and then there's a stator and it's like a piece of metal that electricity flows through and it repels the magnets and that's what gives you the drive. So when you're coasting, the magnets are still going by that, that piece of metal and that's how the regen works. But in some cases on, on electric bikes that are using direct drive, it slows you down and you almost have to fight against the wheel. That doesn't seem to be the case as much with the Falco system, and I was going to show you, that's called cogging. I'm going to try to demonstrate that. I'm going to pick this up, turn turn the battery off, I'm going to spin the wheel. Look at that. Pretty good. You know, it's, it's spinning on its own right now. So not... Not a lot of cogging. That's one of the things that they, they tout as being a benefit um, with their kits, but it's always good to kind of see for yourself how that really works. I'm going to turn it back on. There we go. The battery that we're looking at here is 36 volt, 11.6 amp hour uh, lithium cells. And you can see in here it mounts to the, this, the brazons where the water bottle pack would go. And that's neat because it keeps it low and center on the bike like that keeps it out of the way versus a lot of cruisers have a rear rack and it's sort of hanging off the back the weight's high up this is low and it just it looks nice i really like their black flat black design it's just it's just pretty you can store the battery inside more easily charge it more easily at the office if you're commuting or just take it off and uh, basically the pack weighs about five pounds the motor is about nine pounds so you know under 15 pounds total with this kit is not not bad <clears throat> I, I've definitely seen some kits that weigh a lot more that use, you know, sealed lead acid and stuff. And they may, they may cost a little bit less, but they don't offer you regen. They don't offer you what is called the triple drive on this, which is a throttle mode. Again, trigger or twist. Cadence sensing. 
and then torque sensing if you have the rear one. So, you know, three options to choose from. That's not bad. And they even have one mode that it sort of combines the uh, cadence with the torque. So it senses as soon as you're moving and then it activates torque. There's just a lot of fancy stuff going on with this this kit. When you're when you're riding, there were a couple moments where I'm I'm accelerating and there's this cutoff moment and I asked about that. Um, I've been hanging out with the, the founder, Rakesh, and getting all these questions answered. And he explained that, oh, that's sort of like a voltage limiter, that as you go higher and higher and faster and faster, it measures your speed, and then it sort of downsteps the voltage so that you don't deep cycle your battery, which can wear it out more quickly. And that's just, that's awesome, getting the engineering perspective on this. As a user, it was like, oh, there's a little bit of a, you know, what is that? Is something wrong? And he's like, no, you know, that's meant to protect the system. Um, one of the neat things about this system is that it, it has software where you can overclock it and you can actually go faster than 20 miles per hour if you've got a bike that you're using off-road, um, sort of that off-road use. But generally speaking, you know, if you're just around town and <laughs> sidewalks and stuff, it's nice to nice to keep it legal. Uh, the whole system is pretty modular with these different connectors. And I wanted to call out, you know, we were talking about torque sensing earlier. This has a fancy design. Inside, it's measuring two different kinds of torque. It's measuring how much force you're outputting as a rider on those pedals and it's measuring how much force the motor is putting out and it, it sort of differentiates between those two so that it can offer you a smoother assistance level which is kind of neat of course here's a, a torque arm this is included as a way to distribute some of the extra force coming out of the motor especially for the for the front hub motor design so that it doesn't uh, strain the metal it sort of distributes that force so yeah it's a torque arm in case case that's new to you so anyway enough talk let's go ahead and just hop on this thing and and check it out i'm going to demonstrate the trigger throttle and just try to give you an idea of what the motor looks like and sounds like so going up to plus five there we go right now i'm just pedaling like normal Kind of a, a basic cruiser frame here, but it looks nice. Now I'm gonna throttle a little bit. Really quiet. Just relaxed cruising. Feels nice. I let off. I'm gonna try the regen mode here. <laughs> Get it up to speed and then basically use that, that menu there to take it down to regen. There you go, slowed me down pretty well. I uh, gave the motor a chance to feed back into the, the battery pack. So yeah, you know, that's the, the Falco HX500. It's a 500 watt direct drive front motor edition. There's just a lot of different ways that you can figure this thing. It's got the removable battery. They're willing to work with you and, and get different wheel sizes. And, and basically you can go through your shop to have something like this installed. I should note that, um, you know, I guess I didn't call this out earlier, they use a wireless control system up here and it's modular. You don't have to buy, you know, you can go from a basic kit design or you can, can get something like this that has a whole bunch of features. This is wireless and so it kind of stays out of your way and to charge it, you disconnect this plug here, plug it in and then it, it recharges this and it communicates with this wireless sensor right here. The other cool thing about the HX500 or really any of the Falco kits is that they can be used with your own batteries. So you can kind of mix and match this thing. It's more like open source. And I just think that's pretty cool. It makes it even more versatile. So yeah, that's the Falco HX500 electric bike kit. 
Just testing it out on a basic cruiser. For more on this and other electric bikes, I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com.